So why do most people like PlayRail, Tomy, Trackmaster? The trains, duh. And I mean, that makes perfect sense. It's pretty much their biggest selling point if you're into Thomas, if you're into the Japanese-styled trains, or maybe even the Disney ones. They, they make a lot, and that's their main selling point. If not the trains, the train sets. But there's often something that came in these Tomy train sets that I found really interesting. And it was one of the things that set Trackmaster and Tomy apart from, say, Take Along or Wooden Railway. Now, to be fair, Take Along and Wooden Railway would do what we're gonna talk about today, but I feel like Trackmaster and Tomy did it a bit more specially. We're gonna talk about the characters and things they made that were not trains. Get out of here, Thomas. That were not trains. Or at least the small collection of such, which I have. These are all Trackmaster and... Well, as you can count, I have four, so we're going to talk about four of them today. Oop, almost forgot. We also have a little accessory that comes with uh, one of these things. I'm not exactly sure which, but um, yeah, I don't imagine this came with uh, James or anything like that. That would have been cool, though. All right, let's not get too off topic. Which one do we start with? What's, what's going to be the best one here? You know what? He's the most common, and I imagine most of you guys have probably seen him before, so let's just knock him out. Trackmaster Kevin. Now, I'm not going to lie. I... This one was a doozy for me as a kid, and it still is now. I, I, why Kevin? I just did not expect this to ever be a motorized thing. But to be fair, th there's three other characters we're looking at today. What's wrong with Kevin? And though he is oversized and looks a bit monstrous, let's be honest, he's pretty accurate. Like, that face is not bad. Again, he's, he's just monster-sized, so it, it looks a little wonky when you put him next to, say... Thomas or something like, like that just that just feels a little weird to me I don't know but credit where credit's due the detail that is here is very well done like look at that wheel look at the little accessories he's got this is this is pretty cool and again we've got this magnet here the crane is sort of positionable it can move uh this picks up well, anything magnetic I guess and if you got Kevin you also got two flatbeds in which he could pull and these are pretty much standard Trackmaster flatbeds they've got this flange here you can move and can put things there so we can pull them around but I'm pretty sure it's unique to Kevin to be the only road vehicle that came with a consist or anything to pull that's pretty cool he even has his own little mechanism here for coupling up to them so he can only couple up to these flatbeds and vice versa let's see looking at the bottom this is a hit toys Kevin so yeah there's really not a lot to him besides he's cute and um again giant kind of fat but that's that's Kevin. All right, what's next? You know what? Just because I love her, ladies and gentlemen, we have Elizabeth. Now, I actually have two Elizabeths. This one is the one in the best condition. As you can see from the face, it's not a uh, sun bleached. And you may remember that from the large Trackmaster or Tomy unboxing I did a couple weeks ago, or was it wasn't months now. I don't know. That's off topic. Look at that. I mean, it's still pretty large, but I mean, proportionally, it makes more sense. Here she is next to Thomas. And you got to remember, these all are motorized. That is the reason they're so fat and not proportionate to their actual characters. They're made to accommodate a battery. These go. They do things. So again, it's a question of is that worth it or is accuracy worth it? I like fun toys, so I'm going with the former. And here's a closer look at those details. Look at that little ladder here that gets into her cab. The windows there the face is pretty damn accurate as well nice coal load the bed area is detailed pretty nicely this thing's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie it's uh it's definitely up there in terms of what my favorite trackmaster road vehicles are she's up there i wouldn't say she's number one though here she is next to i think a uh, tex i could be wrong but um another elizabeth i have that is a lot smaller and typically i use this one for scale you know when it's going with the engines and such like that because that just looks way more believable but again because it's so small the detail on this thing isn't as pronounced if scale is something you're really looking for i can't recommend any of these characters just just look at that that is that is a hell of a comparison right there that kind of speaks for itself but you know what that's enough elizabeth and on the topic of female road characters let's move on to Honestly, what might be my favorite? We have Caroline. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got, is this a hit or? It is, it is a Hit Toys Caroline, a motorized Caroline, which um, I don't have the smaller version of her. There is a, a smaller Tommy Caroline, I believe that uh, does not have a motor, but I'm not even gonna restate it. It's, um, you can see it and it's because it has a motor in it. That's, that's why. Okay, fine, it's fat, I said it, there you go. Look, Caroline is so simplistic. There's really not a lot to her, but 
That's one of the things I love about her character. Just look at her. She's she's kind of adorable. She's got these eyes here on the front, and I think these are stickers. I could be wrong. I'm not going to mess with them and risk messing this up to find out, but those could be stickers. Besides that, it's literally just, it's the same as Birdie, like a Tomy Birdie. Red, black windows. She says Caroline here on the side, which is pretty cool. And she does have the tire here on the back and a nice white roof. She's just cute. This is a really nice model to say have running next to Stepney or um, just in the background. I really like Caroline as a character and I think that's definitely feeding into the bias of her, you know, as a Trackmaster character. Like she certainly does not have more detail than Elizabeth or anything like that. But would I say I like her more than Elizabeth? You're goddamn right. Again, she's just adorable. She's got this little yellow noob face going on. I'm just gonna stop talking about proportions entirely since um, none of these are going to fit into that discussion at all. She's just awesome and honestly might be my favorite. She, she's up there. There's one other road character contending with her and you know what? Let's just go ahead and talk about him too. Now there is one other instance of a motorized Terrence in uh, Tomy, and that is the Thomas at the Lumberyard set, which I'm not gonna, that's just a favorite set of mine of all time. Like that, that's peak Thomas merch right there. Imagine my surprise when I found out when I was doing that large unboxing, Trackmaster made their own motorized Terrence and, and here he is, he, he's kind of adorable. Not to mention he's peak Terrence, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't hate the eyebrows that Terrence has normally now, but it's all about that widow's peak. That's just, that's just classic. That's where it's at, come on. I would never have that haircut myself, but you know what, Terrence rocks it. An accurate face aside when it comes to just detail, I mean, it's there, definitely. The uh, tracks here, <sighs> this whole caterpillar area could look better, if I'm honest. It's not the most, it's more basic shapes that make the vague impression that a tractor, you know, mechanic is here, but um, it could be worse. There's also detail here from the motor, which um, isn't as pronounced. I almost wish it was a bit larger, but um, there's quite a bit to that, if you can see it. I'm not sure if the, there it is. Yeah, there's a lot to that, at least. That's, huh, why does that get more detailed than this? That's that's a little weird. And the cab area also has some stuff as well. There's these little, um, I imagine these are the controls. Here's the seat. Yeah, he's all right. He's pretty nice. He's just, he's Terrence. And that's, you know, that's a bias that's hard to break for me. Yeah, altogether, he's pretty damn cool. You know, he could be better in the detail department, but it's a motorized Terrence and you don't have to pay the crazy eBay prices to get a set now for it. It's, it's pretty nice. You know, I know I kind of hinted at this, but these are the two competing for my uh, favorite spots. <sighs> I want to say I give it to Caroline just because she's more unique and kind of adorable, but... I love this. Just look at that weird, cracked out face. Not to mention he's got some nice detail. I really like the orange that they chose for the molding. It's just a nice little model. And we also have Elizabeth, who looks amazing. And, you know, it again, these are all just really cool mo- Kevin, they're all awesome. These all rock. But when we talk about Trackmaster or Tomy or really anything of that range, normally we're talking about the engines. And you know what? That's a discrimination we need to cut because these are just as cool. Personally, I say justice for these wonky, cracked out little characters. That's just me though. So not only did the Trackmaster Road Range make uh, quite a few characters, as you can see, but they also had a road system. And um, I have it somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly I put it, but um, I'll put it on screen at least. So it's imagine Tomy Track, but the connections were different and it's a lot more detailed. But we didn't just get vehicles and road that they could run on. Sometimes we would get accessories. And here's this little, telephone booth. I'm not exactly sure, again, which one this came with, but it, it's nice. It's pretty cool, especially when you do have the road set up and you just have something to sit next to it, you know, or that's not a tree. There's not a lot to it. It's literally just a sticker detailed, a little bit bleached, as you can see on this side. Phone booth, and there's a not even painted green lamppost that is very tiny next to it and very flexible. It likes to uh, move around as you can see. But you know what, at least we got that. That's technically more than Tomy did. I mean, the only accessories you got for that were crossings and signs. This is pretty unique and kind of cool. And I wish Trackmaster did more stuff like this, but the road range or uh, road vehicles really didn't go that far. I think I have the uh, peak four, but I really wish there was more to them. Like imagine if they made the pack that was motorized, that would have been pretty cool. But you know what? At least we got Caroline, we got Terrence, we got Kevin, we've got Elizabeth. 
We've got peak, so it, it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. And this, ladies and gentlemen, has been my small, uh, I guess, review. Look at the, um, Trackmaster Road vehicles. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. Really quick, as always, huge shout out to my patrons for making videos like this possible. And I guess with all that being said, be sure to comment down below. Let me know which one of these four you liked the most, uh, what you would rank them in terms of least to best. And brush your teeth because uh, that's important and make sure you're doing that. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.